Hi there everyone, my name is Dominic and welcome to Little Miss Fortune, a spooky little story game that I don't know much about but I've heard it is not as cute as the aesthetic might suggest and it's actually a little bit dark and twisted and that sounds fun to me, something kind of tongue in cheek, cute looking and kind of maybe a bit creepy and weird underneath the surface sounds like fun to me. So alright, let's get started. I don't really have much of a preamble for this one, so... Um, I've just heard that, uh, I've seen a lot of people play this, um, I've heard it's interesting, the design looks cool. <laughs> it's set off to work, I guess. Does he work for the Grim Reaper? That's a really cute idea. Does he put the bodies in his little cart? Also, this is a separate small gripe. This is a really cute opening, but why the hell is it that, like, cutscenes in games a lot of times are super low resolution? Like, that was clearly just a pre-made cutscene to intro the game, and it's, like, so significantly grainier and lower quality and lower resolution than Welcome this part. to my game. Who's talking? I'll be your host and humble narrator. Is it the, the fox? So this game are simple. Play it until the end. And you'll be rewarded. I mean, that's kind of vague. Like, if you are the fox that works for the Grim Reaper, you might think a reward is like killing me and sending me to the afterlife. So I don't know if I should trust you on that. Oh, is this our little, little Miss Fortune? Is Miss Fortune. She's a wonderful child from a not so wonderful family. A little sparkle for you, and a little sparkle for you, and a little bit for me. <laughs> oh, the sad part is, today is the day she will die. <laughs> huh, I can hear you, you know. Oh, you can? Mm-hmm. Are you inside my head or something? Hmm, well, okay, yes. <laughs> All right, I'll call you Mr. Voice. O what did you say about me dying today? Die? No. Nobody said anything about anyone dying today. Huh? <laughs> Nobody said nothing? You know, I have prepared a game for you. A game? Really? For me? If you can reach the end of the game, I'll give you eternal happiness. Deal? Eternal happiness? I guess I could give that to my mommy. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> Wonderful. Fantastic. Ready to play? Yes. Your first mission is to leave the house. Okay, I'm gonna do it. <laughs> This is just like Saw for children, or like, this is like, like, Madeline, like, if she, if she was, like, created by people who were suicidal. Oh my goodness, alright. I like our character design, it's very cute, actually. Like, in general, I think, like, not enough stuff is caricature -y. like, I think it's fun to see stuff that takes it this far. I like to move my body. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's the music that goes on forever. Hell yeah. Ah. Uh. Misfortune, fuck it up. Yeah. Show them what you're made of. Come on. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's right. Let's find out if this music is copyright claimed. <laughs> Legitimately kind of a cool song. It sounds like a like a Smith song. 
All right, I'll leave that on in the background. It's fun. Okay, so yeah, what's with the fox with her drawing it already? I drew this picture. It's the fox I see outside my window sometimes. I call him Benjamin. I He's see. He's cute fox. Ugh, I don't care much for foxes. Look, I drew this Oh, no, no, I already heard you. Hold on. No, 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 I heard that. I heard that. Miss Fortune, please. Stop it. I... Okay, I'm wondering, like, then, is the fox... Like, is, is the Grim Reaper our narrator and the fox is like the herald of our doom or something? I don't know. Look, this is my secret hiding spot. Oh, impressive. But why do you need a hiding spot? I don't like it when mommy and daddy argue too much. And when I come here, I can dream and travel far away. I see. <laughs> All right. This is Babsy, the guardian of the secret spot. You see his eye? He got that from a battle against a monster. A monster? That sounds scary. It was. This is my diary. Nobody's allowed to read it. Want to see? <laughs> Me trying not to overshare, which I'm not capable of. All I know is how to tell people way too much personal detail about myself. I'm so cute. <laughs> Did you draw all this? Uh-huh. See, I like to play with a lot of my toys. I like to talk to them because it's fun. I just sound like young Gru. <laughs> We're going to steal the moon. Um, hello, diary. At school, I drew on at home. I was at my hiding spot, talking to Bubsy, and I heard it. I saw a fox walking outside my room. He's called Benjamin, I think. <laughs> Benjamin. Ugh, that fox. Yes. <laughs> Hello, diary. My dad lied to me again. Not going out to the park today. I made myself pretty, but he doesn't care. I feel sad. I cried, but told mommy I'm okay. I'm afraid if I tell her I'm sad, she'll be angry. Sometimes I don't know how to feel. Nobody is teaching me how to feel. I wish in school they teach us where feelings come from, but for reals, no fairy tales. Yikes forever. Oh, yikes forever. Benjamin, hello diary. Is it okay to have feelings for a fox? Uh, I guess? <laughs> Furry this young? All right. Benjamin the fox came to visit when I was playing outside and we looked at each other and my heart felt warm and I like, and like if I was about to vomit, but in a good way. Then he ran away because my mommy shouted that dinner was ready. He's waiting for like dad's gonna get like too slammed one night and he's gonna shoot the fox. Ruin every- Oh no! No! I didn't- Oh god, we're already at the domestic violence! This game's been playing for five minutes, Jesus Christ. Hello, diary! My daddy hit mommy. Is that supposed to be normal? Should I hit people I love? It does not feel right. Maybe daddy can't see he's hurting me too when he hits mommy. I promise I will never be like daddy. I played today that I took plane to Japan and saw interesting things. I knew about Japan because my friend is Japanese. He likes sushi. My Japanese friend speaks Japanese. That's very problematic when we talk. It's hard to understand each other. It's confusing. But I like him. He has a pair of sweet boots and a cowboy hat. His name is Hiro and he's a ghost. I drew him a picture, but I never gave it to him. That's Hiro, my Japanese friend. He's a ghost. <laughs> Hello, diary. Look, I have glitter from school. It's super shiny, and we use it to make Christmas cards. I think Christmas cards are pretty, but I don't believe Santa is for reals. If a man could give everyone a gift, why can't he give poor people water and food? She's already got a good point. She's like, hey, why is there geopolitical crisis if Santa exists? <laughs> I saw a TV show with people from other countries having nothing to eat. Anyway, I don't believe Santa is real. But the glitter is amazing. It makes me think that all that makes me sad and angry can be sprinkled with sparkle to look prettier. That makes me a little less sad. Glitter. I love my glitter. <laughs> Hello, diary. I went picking tomatoes with grandma. It smelled so nice. I saw butterflies, some other insects too, and I ate two tomatoes. Then I was stuffed. I made a real nice drawing there. You see? Yes. Very nice. 
I did the coloring too. Impressive. Hello, diary. I was riding my tricycle. We don't have money for the bicycle. And I looked straight in the sun. And I started crying because it hurts my eyes. My mommy said that I should not look directly at it. But if it's good enough for President Trump to look at sun, then it is good enough for me. <laughs> Hello, diary. It was fun today because I was at the lake and I saw birds flying and also fish in the water. I felt like warm water came near my bottom. <laughs> I, I was about to I say, you pissing in the lake? Warm. The poor fish. Hello, diary. How are you? I'm good too. I have to do homework, but I can't stop thinking about Benjamin. I in no, no, no. I already heard that part. I know. Uh, I found a picture of me when I was younger. Time goes fast. The cake looks yummy. Look at that picture. I was such a baby. <laughs> it looks Very cute. Now I'm such a lady. Yes, I'm you're so lady. grown. That's what I am. <laughs> Halloween. Halloween custom ideas, little lady fox. This is just everyone, all the girls who saw Lion King, and more specifically Lion King 2, and they were like, I could be a little lion lady for Kovu. <laughs> no, no, I, 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 keep, I keep thinking clicking is to turn to the next page, but it just repeats the dialogue. All right, is that everything? I love my coloring book. Uh, what to do with the coloring book? Take the coloring book with you. Leave coloring book for Bubsy. Uh, oh, I forgot. This is like a choice-based game. So we'll, we'll take it with us. Sorry, Bubsy, you'll be fine. I'm gonna take it with me if I get bored, okay? Cool. Alright, let's go. I don't know how much like the different choices really affect the story going forward, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Look, I made these paper dolls myself. This is Kimberly and this is Steven. They're on a trip fighting super evils. <laughs> Do we need to take the glitter? We can spray it in our enemy's eyes. <laughs> My glitter. Yeah, yeah, good, all right. I thought we might need that. <laughs> yeah! Oh, already, <laughs> good. I love any game that gives me a mechanic to be able to toss glitter in a sassy way gets a, a extra star in my book. <laughs> I saw a monster in here once. I showed it the finger and it never came back. Good for you, all right? Way to just really confront your uh, your fears there, misfortune. Which toy do you choose to bring with you? The gun under my pillow. No, you can only choose one. And remember, your choice is much more important than you think. Okay, I choose... I choose to take knife under my pillow that mom gave me to fight off Baba Yaga. Um, do I want the unicorn or the stone? I mean, I'm thinking like... I feel like violent confrontation is gonna be the way to go to be able to survive whatever the hell's gonna happen to us, so let's get the stone, I guess? I'm wondering how replayable this game is if a lot changes. The stone that he threw at me once. <laughs> God, God damn it. Yeah, I call him Stony because he's a stone. Get it? <laughs> I get it. Stony the stone. That's very clever. Thank you. <laughs> no, not the blood on it. Oh God. I like that. Like the blood scene makes it look like he's got just like a red head. Ah. And so, you oh. know, I like to sprinkle sparkle on things so they become fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Happiness to everything! <laughs> hey, you, on the other side hey, of the screen. Don't talk to me! Remember I told you she was going to die today. Let's keep that a secret between us, all right? Miss Fortune, he's gonna kill you! Miss Fortune, he's got a gun, watch out! The fox is dangerous! This is Grandma. She wears a diaper, too. <laughs> you oh. You wear a diaper? Nah. That was so last year. <laughs> well, I'm glad you were able to move on from that point in your life. I'm glad you stopped shitting yourself, kid. Mommy likes to collect glasses. I broke a couple once by running too fast. Did Mommy find out who did it? No, but I had a piece of glass in my foot for like five days. <laughs> Hold, uh, okay. <laughs> God. Oh, please don't fall, don't fall. Shit! Damn it, it's all broken now. It's that. Oh, all right, well. Beautiful example of 
cause and effect. Please don't tell on me. Don't worry. You can trust me. Okay, thank you. All right. What about this? What about the mama I and the papa? Daddy, because she was expecting me. Ah. She wanted to have an abortion. <laughs> and against the law. That's kind of the same thing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god. Maybe I could try to fix it. Um, let's let's try to be a dutiful child for for our mother's sake, all right? Who seems to really be in a bad situation. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. Oh, it's like an actual little puzzle game. Oh, that's kind of cute. Let's see. This is a really good opening so far. Like I have to say, like, uh, hold on, hold on. Where is this? You gotta go up here. I see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then the flower goes with the flower here. It's like if a cozy game was casually talking about abortion and domestic violence, you know? Which, I'm sorry, but I, this, I like games like this just because I love a game that surprises me. I think there's so many games that just are not surprising. They do exactly what I expect them to do. They go in the direction I expect them to. So just to play anything, that catches me off guard is kind of a pleasant surprise. Um, okay, you clearly must go there. Uh, hold on. Oh, you go up here. I see, I see. All right? Hold up a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. There we go. And then put the flower back in the vase. I it's, did it. it's pretty good. And we got an achievement for that. Oh, how many people didn't do that? Like, it's like the returning the shopping cart thing where it's like, you don't have to do it. You're probably a worse person if you don't. Look, that's me. Mommy told me I have to smile even when I'm sad. Well, look, if she could smile even through having you, all right? That's not mommy's fault, to be fair, considering abortion's illegal in whatever this little hellscape is we're in. Daddy's friend was a hunter and killed this moose. His daughter, Erica, she thought his gun was a toy. No! She said bang bang to her mommy. No! Then her parents died, and she was so sad. Oh, God. <laughs> it's like, this is like Edith Finch if everything horrible that happened was a punchline. It's crazy. Separately, like, as someone, like, uh, like, who grew up around guns a lot, I didn't realize because growing up, growing up kind of conservative and right-wing, like, um, I was always like, what is the deal with people talking about how dangerous guns are around kids? I didn't realize that for me, I had a parent, like my dad especially, was very strict, was very, very, very safe. Like he was someone who like, I, I could never have done anything dangerous, even if I had ever tried or was being stupid, because he was so proactive about making sure that the only time we were ever, I was ever around firearms was safely around him at a gun range, um, or we were like, cleaning it. So I didn't realize until I started like looking into it and being like, oh, many, many people in the country, many parents and are not like that. Like many of them are really cavalier about having their guns around. And that's why so many fucking kids shoot themselves, shoot other people, shoot their parents because the guns are just around the house, which is Ugh. fucking crazy. It smells like cigarettes in here. Mama is but... Mama is a bit of alcoholic, and I do not you blame her. Drink juice a lot. <laughs> well, are you ready to complete your first mission? Yes, I am. I'm gonna get that prize. Don't say we're gonna we're gonna have to like kill the mom or something. This is this game is gonna be just horrible choice after horrible choice, isn't it? Oh, dead rabbits again. When will Daddy learn I like them alive? Ah, oh, yeah, no one likes our culinary preferences. Unbelievable. Can I glitter them? <laughs> <laughs> what does that do? Is my heart growing three sizes too big like the Grinch whenever I glitter something terrible? Can I glitter the soup? <laughs> it's like Ratatouille if you didn't know, or like Remy if you didn't know how to cook in Ratatouille. Smells really bad. What is it? Dead animals. That's what it is. Yikes forever. Yikes forever. <laughs> Thanks, I hate it. Well, look, look, dead, like, rabbit stew not is not a bad idea, but you have to skin and prepare first before you put in boiling water. Easy mistake to make. <laughs> we had a lovely dinner last night. 
Mommy wasn't that drunk and daddy actually said hi to me. That's nice. What a good day you had. Silver lining. Today's it's October, it's October 11th. Oh, I, sh I didn't realize I should have played this on that exact day. I'm posting it slightly, excuse me, slightly too late in October. When I grow up, I want to be just like my mommy, a juice drinker. Oh, don't worry. With your amount of drama, you will be. You will drink much drink. All right, hold Mama, Mama, for your drink. Yeah! <laughs> oh, that, that's like sweet. It like makes it cute, like gives her a cape. I grab, I want to... Oh, hold on. Did she say anything different or... This game's awesome so far, I have to say. Like, yeah, like it's dark, obviously, but like, tell Mommy you're leaving. I feel like drunk mommy might be angry at us, but I also feel really bad for the mom. So maybe we should try to tell her so she at least knows. Let's let's tell her the da the dad can get fucked. He sounds like a piece of shit, but I'm going out to play, mommy. You said shut the fuck up and don't bother me. Mommy's having Good juice day, time. Morning. It's afternoon, Miss Fortune. Shut up, narrator. Okay. Good afternoon, morning. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny because this game, when I looked it up, didn't have it had a lot of really good like um, user reviews, but not greatest critic reviews. I'm wondering if it was just this is just too uncomfortable of a game for some people. Like I think there's enough people who would play it and just be like these are not things you joke about. I mean the fox. I do this remember. I first saw him. Aww. He was hiding in the trash and. We made eye contact. It was really intense. <laughs> yes, you told me about that fox already. You shouldn't trust a fox. They're all criminals. What? A fox criminal? <laughs> That's silly. Look what, you never seen Dora the Explorer, right? You don't know swiper, no swiping and whatnot. This pool smells like a toilet. Because I pee on it. <laughs> that is disgusting. Not as disgusting as when my daddy puked in it. That was disgusting. <laughs> Jesus Christ. A kitty! This is where daddy often sleeps. I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Daddy? Throw some glitter on it for when he comes back. Yeah! Aww, we can imagine a happy family. Alright, I'm just gonna glitter everything I can. Like the cat! <laughs> Alright, talk to me, cat. Speak to me. Hello, kitty. Here, come. Come, kitty. Kitty, kitty! Kitty! kitty <laughs> just, don't go. just throws glitter right in the cat's face. Oh good, I was waiting for- I was like, the cat's gonna get hit by a car or something. Get the sweet animals. So, before we continue, you need to know the rules of the game, Miss Fortune. Okay. Remember, you will be given choices on your journey. Okay, choices? There is no <laughs> right or wrong, only consequences. Okay, okay, only consequences. When you beat the game, the prize of eternal happiness is yours. I'm ready. Your next mission is to cross this road. All right, I can do that. Look to the left, look to the right. Any course? No. Okay, I'm going. It's funny, I will say it's really nice to play a small game like this with voice acting built in because a lot of these games I feel like, I don't know if it's a cost thing or just they think it's not always necessary, but it really brings it to life. Like, especially good vo vocal vocal performances make a huge difference. I think the whoever's playing Misfortune, whoever's playing the narrator, it reminds me a lot of Lost and Random, where it can really uplift a game to something more elevated just because of the chemistry of the cast, you know? Whoa! Yeah, okay. Hail Satan and whatnot, I guess. I saw a monster. What monster? I didn't see anything. It was there. I saw it. It's probably just your imagination. Yeah, that's true. I have a very big one. Just keep going. We'll have so much fun. All right. 
Okay, but next time you see hell, throw some glitter on it. It's the last thing the demons will expect. <laughs> Look, a sleepy bird. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go now. Yeah, does it make our, like, character, like, like, are we, like, kinder or something by throwing glitter on things? Does that change our progress down the road? I don't know. Yeah, like, why do these pre-rendered cutscenes look so raggedy compared to the main gameplay? That actually looks, like, very cool, like, the color and, like, the color palette, the design to it looks really good, but... I know a lot of times it's because pre-rendered cutscenes, they take up a lot of space, the video files do, so that's part of it, but still. And probably no one else would care, but I care, and that's all that matters. This is my playthrough. <laughs> I like this intro already, though. Like, this is... This feels like an intro to, like, Gravity Falls. Something that's, like, cute, spooky, and weird. Ah! <laughs> so far, this whole game thus far has just been that meme of the girl looking back when the house is on fire. <laughs> oh, man. Huh. I used a little sparkle back there. Anyway, where are we? I don't know. I'm assuming she hasn't traveled much. <laughs> hey, look! A, puppy. a dumb yeah, puppy. looking dog. What a cute party hat. Now focus, Miss Fortune. You have to make a very difficult choice regarding this puppy now. Be aware of the consequences. All right. Play with it or set it free. I think if we if we set it free, it runs right into traffic and gets run over. So we're not going to do that. We just throw a little glitter and go on our way. I will play with it so we can share a nice time together. Oh, now we're gonna get bit, aren't we though? Now throw the ball at it. What ball? This ball. Ah, that ball. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think that she falls like the family guy. No! Oh! <laughs> no! What, what have I so done? Now, Mr. Voice, everything I touch breaks. What's wrong with me? There's nothing wrong with you. Sometimes <laughs> life is just unfair. Oh. I'm here for you. Really? Thank you. Well, sadly. The puppy will miss the party now. What party? <laughs> the oh, owner shit. of this dog, George, is having a party. I think you have to go and tell him about the accident. What accident? Ah, uh, yes, the puppy, yes. Let's go. It's just a bit farther ahead. All right. Oh my god, what the fuck, man? <laughs> oh, god damn it. Oh, well, do I get to wear the hat in the meantime? Party hat as a symbol of our friendship, puppy doggy. I don't think it counts as friendship if before you even make an introduction, you kill the thing, but... Oh, hold on. R.I.P. Yeah. <laughs> Fly high, sweet puppy. Oh, anything else I can say about it? I'm sorry I broke you, puppy. I really am. Maybe we can play later, you know? When I'm broken, too. That's all right. We will play in heaven. Oh my God. What's say? It says no dogs allowed. Oh, really? What do I feel like? Yeah, if we let the dog go, it would have ran into traffic or something horrible would have happened anyway. But can I avoid stepping in the dog shit? Nope. Nope. Oh, no. It's a canon event. Oh, doggy -do. oh. Oh, yeah. God damn it. Also, why is it that color? That's not a normal color. Hold on, glitter the vomit. <laughs> I can click on the the shit or the vomit. Oh, my God. I, I can see my footprint. <laughs> Talk about finding the silver lining. Let's see what came out. I see a <laughs> glitter and is that rice pudding? <laughs> I can't watch this anymore. Please, let's keep moving. Narrator, please, I'm trying to read the vomit like it's tea leaves, all right? What is the clerk telling me? <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel like there are some 
serious game critics that probably just did not like the tone of this, but I don't know. There's a lot of self-serious stuff. And I'd rather something be fucking weird as shit, but kind of feel like it has its own tone rather than be kind of homogenous, you know, where a game feels like a thousand other games. And this does not. This feels like nothing I have ever played before. Like, um, so hold on. I want to make sure I have my settings right. My... Okay, I'm just making sure, like, I want to make sure it's not my fault that the cutscenes look a little bit low res, like if I had a setting wrong, but I don't think I do, and it looks like I have it all fine. What is this place? On the other side of this lake, you will be one step closer to the prize of eternal happiness. And the party, right? Ah, yes, that too. The death party. Damn, it smelled like fucking trash over here. This is like Santa Monica Beach. You know, once at this lake, I got my head stuck in a plastic bag. I remember falling asleep and waking up in the hospital. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, I almost died. But did you die though? Also, glitter bomb. Oh, ma! Ah. <laughs> no! <laughs> we got snatched the fuck up! <laughs> I like. Uh, what's happening? That it just looks like an annoyance. Trouble, Miss Fortune. Yeah, tell me about it. Where are these birds taking me? I have no idea, but you have to do something about it fast. All right. I kick him in the balls. Throw glitter at the birds. Glitter that bitch. Okay, my glitter is shiny. So if I throw glitter at the birds, they will only see shiny. Yeah. And they will get confused and leave me alone. Sure. That sounds like a solid plan, Miss Fortune. All right, here I go. Glitter attack! <laughs> I'm assuming we're going into the lake. <laughs> this feels so like, um, beyond the garden wall, like... Taking a long time. Well, he didn't le even go that high up. Well, time seems to slow down when we are in danger. Yeah. Am I in danger? What the fuck is that? Hello, birdie. What the fuck is that? Oh, that was a rude bird. <laughs> oh my god. Why didn't I break my legs and die? I don't know. Mm, you seem very good at falling. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, apparently your little, like, fall, like, so dress cloak is a good is parachute. on the same way to the eternal happiness? Yes. Yes, it is. Oh, that's convenient. Have you thought about how to break the news to George? About the puppy? Yes. I mean, if you want to. Um, no, no, I'm not gonna say shit about that. Nope. No, it's I'm time. To get in trouble. Yeah, it's time to lie. I want to dance at the party. Exactly. Right, then. The past is the past. Alright, it's time to let it go so we can go oh. break it down on the dance floor. Hello. Are we there yet? Just a little bit farther away. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, uh, a fish! What should we do about it? Kill it! Bring it with, absolutely, a peace offering fish. I'll keep it. Glitter in one pocket, fish in the other, unstoppable combo. His name is Rodrigo, and <laughs> he needs a new place to stay. Rodrigo is so fucking done with this shit. He is just like, fucking filet me and serve me a sashimi. Just put me out of my misery. I wonder if Rodrigo has heard about sushi. That's right. It's like Rodrigo put in tiny pieces, you know. <laughs> That's right, we have our Japanese ghost friends who would be informed about that stuff. Okay. And here we are, the house of George. I'm a bit nervous about introducing myself. You'll do fine, just... Don't mention the puppy like we discussed earlier. Yes, okay. I'll just dance. That's right. I will distract them with the way I boogie. Uh-oh, there is dead fish. Me thinks 
George House, not good house. Me think he tie up dog for a bad reason. Knock or ring the bell. Oh, I don't know. What's the fucking difference? Um, let's ring the bell, I guess. If he's got it built in, might as well use it. Nobody's answering. All right, breaking the house. Break myself in. Oh yeah, yeah. To check out the party. Yeah, breaking entering time. Well, I'm clicking. I'm clicking the thing. Oh, there we go. There we go. I saw a man once floating in the lake. Girls like this fisher. Oh. Shabuya. Oh. Thought the fish might come back to life, but I guess not. Ah, what a nice picture. I wish I had a picture like this with my mommy and daddy. Well, yeah. Ah! Hello? What is it, Miss Fortune? Nothing. Just a creepy little German blonde child. Nothing to be concerned about. Are you sure this is the right house? Where is the party? Hello? Just in case. I never know what section needs glitter or doesn't. Oh! Someone's just hanging out. Excuse me. Are you George? <laughs> no. I don't know anything about any puppy, but I was promised a party. Oh no, wait. It looks like he hung himself. Hung himself? Like a piñata? <laughs> Should I hit him like no, a piñata? No, don't no, do it! It's fortune. He's dead. Dead? But he's wearing a pair of sweet boots. He, he can't be dead. <laughs> Stop pushing him around, Miss Fortune. Oh. Stop it. Okay. Hey, Miss Fortune, I think this party's over. Let's leave. I'll meet you in the back. George, you know, now that you're dead, your puppy is gone. I like the puppy. Bye. So technically, when you think about it, we reunited George and the puppy, all right? He was already, he'd already bit the, you know, he already bit the bucket. He'd kicked the bucket and bit the dust, is what I was trying to say simultaneously. Ha! Huh. What's God this? damn it. I guess it's not finished. He said, my final art was prepared. I can now die in peace. Fix it. What are you possibly going to draw out of that? I actually want to know. What are you going to make out of the dick and balls? Perfect. All right. I ball sack kitty. Hmm, not that you need one, but anyways. <laughs> Close enough. Way to try to make the best out of a bad situation. That's cool. Freaking birds. Thanks to them, I obviously came late to the party. I mean, yeah. Oh yeah, hold on, can I glitter his body? Shadam! Happiness to your stepping out the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, nice boots. Well Okay, I'm here now. Let's go into the woods and get that eternal happiness. Yes. I'm also not sure how long this game is. I don't think it's very long, but... With the trees and the birds and the animals. Dangerous animals, Miss Fortune. You might run into a fox. A fox? Like Benjamin? Yes, but all foxes are evil, so keep your eyes open. Uh, all right. Oh, God, I'm, I'm very nervous about the fox because she likes him so much and everything she likes ends up being terrible. Like, it's going to be an Into the Woods thing where the, the fox is like, has pedophilic creeper overtones. The music's cool. It's like very like 80s John Carpenter, which is kind of a cool mishmash for the setting. Oh, no, we have Free Doll. Uh, everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. Okay. Everything begins with the song of a jackdaw. <laughs> All right. No, I'll give us. Hmm. Interesting. I'll keep it. Hey, what do you have there? Mind your business. Nothing. That's right, narrator. All right, you don't own me. You just talk in my head. You're just my schizophrenia going wild. Stay back, Miss Fortune. <gasps> what is it? A wild, dangerous fox. 
recognize that black tail? It's Benjamin. It doesn't matter. Attack it before it kills you. <laughs> nah, I don't think Benjamin will kill me. <laughs> Hello. Is your name Benjamin? Do you want to play with me? Oh, no, uh, don't oh. Go. oh, fuck uh, you too, Benjamin. Oh, what a relief. We are safe now. Let's keep playing my game. Okay. There's a magical cave nearby. You need to find it. A magical cave? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but let's step into the demon circle first, all right? Because we have no sense of self-preservation. But first, glitter bomb. Oh, all right. <sighs> it looks like Benjamin likes to paint. That's pretty cool. I like that in a fox. <laughs> Focus, Miss Fortune. We need to keep going. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> Talk about ignoring red flags. It's just, he's an artist. <laughs> Can we pick up the paintbrush? Oh, yeah, complete the circle. Absolutely. Very wise idea. Oh! <laughs> okay. That's not a problem, me think. I forgot that I can run. Wee! <laughs> the little run cycle is so funny. Sorry, the animation I really I really like, it's very rare, like this kind of like stick figure animation, I think usually looks kind of shitty. It looks like a old flash game, but this is really cute. Like it's very consistent, so it actually kind of works. The police was here. Oh, look, someone draw a little outline of child. That can mean nothing bad. Oh, is this the magical cave? It doesn't look that magical. It will when I throw glitter on it. Till you go inside. <laughs> Oh, I like the sound of that. Oh, I have a question. What does this sign mean? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Sparkles? Ah, cool. <laughs> so, whenever you're ready. No, fuck it. Let's go in the cave, all right? I want to get in there, all right? Oh, I can't wait to see the magic inside. This cave is huge! Echo! <laughs> well, let's explore the cave. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just joking. There was no echo. It was me. <laughs> Real comedian, Miss Fortune. You, you. you are so funny, you silly girl. All right. This is like if. Oh! Yo, yo! What, what was that? the fuck? Did I miss something? I'm not sure. Was that like a hamster driving a Ferrari? What is what what is happening down here? I knew I made the right choice coming down to the cave. <laughs> ha! What's this? The it is! Let's fuck live dude it. hamsters! No! Not I the hamster like with talking. tits! <laughs> Can we go inside? I don't know. Uh, what the fuck out. is happening? Um Miss Fortune, cover your eyes. You're too young to see hamsters in any condition. No, 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 no. Hamster fight. Are you going to do something about it? He's got a knife. Um, end the violence between the hamsters. Yeah, fuck it. We gotta intervene. Kill him. Kill him, Miss Fortune. Like you adorable things. You have to. Oh, we're gonna own. No, no, that's not what I meant. <laughs> there you go. Oh, please, sweetie, don't go. You dropped something. <laughs> <laughs> no! Oh, are those mints? Yeah. I try one so I can keep my breath dry. <laughs> I'm a little Shit. old, you know. Am I gonna have a choice in that, or is she just gonna do ecstasy against my will? Wow, I feel really nice. <laughs> <laughs> Narrator man, I am beginning to feel fucked up. <laughs> Oh my god. Straight up, if you ever wondered how it feels to start feeling anxious midway through being high on a potentially illicit substance, 
That's how it feels. That's it right there. <laughs> yep, yep. Well, that wasn't a meant to refreshment at all. <laughs> oh my god. Miss Fortune? I'm okay. Yeah, y'all need some glitter, because this place is dreadful, my god. Excuse me, how about a little lady get inside? No, I'm not very important, you say? Okay. Can you believe this guy, Mr. Voice? We have to find another way out now. Well, yeah, I don't think, honestly, Miss Fortune, I don't think it's wise for you to go through the nude hamster exhibit. These Which technically, though... are killing me with their cuteness. <laughs> so cute. Okay, but hold on. I'm, I'm, like, what, is it not stranger, though, that the hamsters are wearing clothes, though? Like, it's like a Bugs Bunny thing where the natural, the resting state is naked. That is how we see all animals. And the more strange thing is the fact that they have clothes on, actually. So, we're very weird. What about you guys? Look at them with their tiny cocktails and their tiny clothing. This is too cute for me. <laughs> Well, that was fucking weird as shit. Moving on now. What happened? Check that lady out. Grandma Hamster. Trouble. Oh no, I think I recognize her. She's the owner of the club back there. Really? Yes, looks like she was robbed. <gasps> Boy, I bet it was that hamster with the black mask. Yes, you're right. Looks like you helped the criminal escape. Oh, oh shit. Does that mean I'm a criminal too? Of course it does. Oh, really? Please don't tell me. Your secret is safe with me. Thank you. Well, wait, 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 wait. But I chose to try to stop the violence. Wouldn't that be technically the right option? Was... Did I have an option to intervene and, and like, make a citizen's arrest of the hamster? Hey, you know what would make me feel better right now? <laughs> Never gets old. Excuse me. Do you need assistance? You just fuck off. Hey, Miss Fortune, we need to find a way out now. The eternal happiness is still out there. Okay, I'll look around. <laughs> what the fuck are these boxes down here? Yeah, what 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 is happening? I wonder what this button does. Push it. Who cares? <laughs> ah. <laughs> Good job, Miss Fortune. You found the way out. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I think I'm done in the sewer. I've I've seen more than enough. There was a sign with a hamster with breasts, so I really I gotta go. I'm 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 out. I'm done. <laughs> what is happening? <gasps> This looks just like a movie I saw on TV. These are the bad guys, I'm telling you. I think you're right. We need to clear the way before we can proceed. But how? You see that fire alarm over there? We need to activate it. Okay. Yeah, but how? With a slingshot. What slingshot? This slingshot. Ah, that <laughs> slingshot, okay. See, what's the point of getting items if, uh... If you're just going to be throwing me plot relevant stuff the whole time. Oh, wait. Oh, is this because I still have the stone so I can use it? Or is that not relevant? Oh, you no, know, never mind. Never mind. As ammunition. That's really clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> I know. Thank you. All right. Aim left, stick, and shoot with A. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, oh fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh, I get it. Oh, okay. Nope. Nope. Shit. That was close. <laughs> that too far. God damn it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Hey. Nice. Cool. We did it. Well done, Miss Fortune. Yay. <laughs> All right. Now, come on, little, little Miss Fortune. We're gonna grab a... Quick, quick little load of meth, and then we're gonna head out of here. What does it say? Squirrel, speed. squirrel speed. I didn't read that at first. God damn it! What this? This 
looks like the science project daddy has <laughs> in the basement. I don't know why, but mommy was really angry about it. Yeah, daddy makes crack, I'm assuming. That's a lot of cash. Is this the eternal happiness? It is. Oh no. What makes you think that? Mommy said that money is the only thing that makes her happy. Well, your mommy is wrong. Oh, really? Okay. That's right. Remember, kids, money doesn't buy happiness, which is what rich people say to poor people to pretend that an extra like 80,000 a year wouldn't take all the stress away from most of your life. All right. Like, it's the thing. It's like, whenever I see that, I remember they've, they've done studies on this too about money and happiness. And it's like, it's like money. Here's the funny thing. Money has a weird parabolic arc to how happy it makes people like empirically when they've studied people's happiness at different levels of wealth. People who are struggling lower class, obviously, their stress levels are very high and the lack of money obviously is a huge factor in their inability to not only uh, make ends meet, but to be able to have vacations, to be able to take time off, to be able to buy uh, non-necessity things, you know, go to shows, concerts be able to afford things that help their stress levels to go down and feel more in balance. Um, apparently when people get to around, I think the study was a number of years ago. So at the time they said it was like 90,000. And I think they've readjusted that number to being like more like 100,000, which obviously is no small amount, but like they've said like, making like around that range a year is when people feel good. Like people feel comfortable. They have enough for vacations and all that, but they don't have so much money that they're stressed about losing it. Usually that's someone who's like an upper middle class, you know, kind of solidified job and all that. So households making that much usually feel good. And the interesting thing is the happiness actually declines um, once it goes past that point, because then the people start feeling like they're stressed about losing it all the time and they start getting into that hoarding cash kind of status because they feel like it's not enough because not only they've surpassed the money taking care of their base needs so now the money is becoming like just the the quantity of the loan the raw number of how much they have becomes its own type of fixation versus people kind of in the middle of that scale have enough money to be comfortable and they're actually applying the money they have to live a better, more satisfying life. So um, just say it's like the whole like money doesn't buy happiness and it's like up to a point it does. And then beyond that point, then you have to make sure your life has purpose and all that to be able to, you know, validate if you make more than that amount. So, all right, climb the ladder. I have seen enough. I don't imagine there's that many. Oh, maybe I should I have checked all the way to the right to see if the tunnel went further. I hadn't even thought about the fact that some of these areas might extend hey, past the exit. On the other side of the screen. Up. Talking to me. I know it must be hard not knowing much about our little lady's future. Will misfortune really die? If so, how will she die? And when will the evil fox kill her? Will she find the eternal happiness? I personally hope she does. <clears throat> Act normal. She's coming. Listen here. If I have any say in this, she's gonna die just based on my bad decisions. Oh, like, Miss, Miss Fortune, you can fly? You it. Congratulations. Thank you. Where are we? We're one step closer to the grand prize of eternal happiness. Great, because I'm not allowed to be outside this lake, you know? Don't worry. It's not far from here. Great. <laughs> Oh, come on, but who's really going to tell? Both of your parents are alcoholics. Let's be real. They're both asleep by the time you get back oh, anyway. A missing kid. Oh, call one, one, two. I don't like this. Maybe I should go back home. Bye. No. Don't go now, Miss Fortune. I can protect you. Oh. Really? Why was yes. dude wearing a clown mask oh, in the I car going by? What the fuck is going on? Get out of here, birds. Get out of here. You good? Are we seeing ghost children? Is this like Paranorman? Ugh, smells like bull crap. Miss Fortune, watch your language. <laughs> okay. Oh, fucking excuse me. A unicycle. Get it? <laughs> Very clever, Miss Fortune. <laughs> Thank you. Phantasmagoria is coming to open fields? That's so awesome! Maybe we could find time to check it out later. Who knows? Right. Don't 
play with my feelings now. Let's focus on finding the eternal happiness first. Then we'll see. All right, I can't wait. <laughs> Yeah, I do not like all the people with the masks on. I mean, from the hoods in the woods. <laughs> you know, if you ever want to hang out or something, I'm available. Don't <laughs> engage with that wild fox. I told you, foxes are dangerous. Let me handle this. Benji, are you a wild, dangerous fox? <gasps> no, Benji, don't. <laughs> Let that wild beast run off. I don't want anything bad happening to you. All right. Ah, oh, this is Benji's stuff. This is absolutely the best art I have ever seen. It's so <laughs> personal. I didn't know Benjamin was so creative. Creative? That looks like a child has drawn it. What did you just say? Oh, I didn't mean it like that. Huh. Hey, shouldn't we be focusing on finding the prize? I'm focused. Yeah, is it because it's like October, Halloween kind of time that everyone's dressed all terrifying? Are we getting on the train? Nope, guess not. So done, you fuck. <laughs> Misfortune. <laughs> what? Language. <laughs> Mr. Voice? Yes, Miss Fortune? Has anyone reached the end of the game and gotten the eternal happiness? Yes, of course. They lived happily ever after. That sounds nice. You know, I want to win this prize for my mommy. I wish I could give her some happiness. My sparkle doesn't work with her. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Thank you. Would you like to try my sparkle? That's not necessary. Ha, <laughs> don't be silly. Here you go. Happiness to Mr. Boys! Oh, well. <laughs> Thank you. Anyway, let's go find the prize and make mommy proud. Yes. What's with the birds dropping dead? This whole game is like if Midnight Scenes was lighthearted, which is kind of an insane concept, but I'm liking it so far. Again, like I, my thing is with a lot of games, I just don't want games to be boring. It's not that they always have to be like, uh, that a game is like necessarily has to be phenomenal every time. So I think like, that's something that like this a separate little mini rant is that like, I think as a culture, we've gotten into this bad attitude because I think partly because of social media, being that everything needs to be either I'm recommending a thing because it's the best fucking thing ever and you have to play it, watch it or whatever right now, or I'm giving a review for how awful this thing is. So I see a lot of people who will like, they'll call something mid, for example, like a lot of things like, oh, this game's so fucking mid or this movie's so mid or whatever. And what they mean is it's bad. Like they're saying it with a negative, not mid as in this game's okay. It's all right. It's kind of in the middle. It's, it's solid. You know, it's like not, it's not bad, you know? Mid, I feel like it has, has slowly morphed into being this thing where when something's mid, it means it's it's like a waste of time. And I'm like, there, look, there's a place for mid games. Legitimate, like straight down the middle. You know, there was like six, seven out of 10 kind of games that don't knock your socks off or whatever. But not every game has to. Not every story has to. Not every book or movie or whatever. Like, we're not designed to just ingest content that's brilliant all the time, you know? And some stuff is still enjoyable even if it's not perfect, you know what I mean? Like there's a gap between those two. Like a game like this, I think is bizarre and I don't like, it's just, it's hard to even make sense of what the fuck is the point of where we're going and all that, but I'm not bored and that's what really matters to me. And I also just saw the drawing on the little table that's the little drawing of a man with his penis out, which is not the most pleasant visual to have. God damn. <laughs> There's a lot of Fuck sweet sake. poetry written on the band. There is. That lots of love. It's alive and it's eating from you. Mm. Sign and mm, Interesting. What do you think? <clears throat> Miss Fortune, do you really need to read those poems? Yes. You know what? I'm out in the real world. I'm probably never going to have another yeah. chance. Listen to So me yes, one. I do. Both hanging too low. No signature. Where are they hanging from? Oh, look, I'm wearing up a cat. Come on, Miss Fortune. Let's go. <laughs> All right. Oh, for fuck's sake. I also like that it says Fran uh, Bo on the back of it, because I'm pretty sure that's another game from the same studio. Studio. That's another depressing. Whoa, what happened, look, buddy? Seagull. 
It looks like Kevin's dad. Who's <laughs> dad? He used to sit in the sandbox next to school. He didn't have any clothes on, and the police officer beat him with a stick. Fascinating. <laughs> Remember, that fish you picked up earlier. You mean Rodrigo? My fish friend forever? You should give it to the seagull. I'm sure it would appreciate some company. Hmm, I guess that maybe that will be a fair thing to maybe do. I guess. Um, oh yeah, let's give him the fish. You know what? We, we brought it with us anyway, so here. We can bring little alcoholic scuttle out of his depression, I maybe. This fish brings you as much joy and love as it did to me. That was very kind of you. Thank you. Yeah. There you go. Oh, no. Rodrigo is dead now. Well, of course. Yeah. Seagulls love eating fish. Why didn't you say something? Well, now you know. Isn't it fun to learn? I guess so. <laughs> Can we still keep the bones, I'll though? Bury him later. Yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Rodrigo deserves a respectful burial after. <laughs> we plucked him out of the ocean and immediately fed him to someone. Would you like to ride the royal horse of the park? Um, fucking yeah! Are you kidding me? Royal horse, you say? I'm a little princess, you know. Me too. I am baby girl. I need to ride the pony. Okay, I'm on the horse. <laughs> Hi, horsey. Stop it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was unfortunate. Are you all right? I'm okay. Are you worried because I'm such a little lady? Of course. You are really tiny and you could break. I broke my arm once. So you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Her getting tossed off of that thing reminds me of um, when I used to take horse riding lessons when I was like a young teenager. I remember seeing at like the facility where I was taking lessons, um, they were training a lot of the little kids on like the little ponies because they're so much shorter. But ponies are fucking assholes. They're mean. Like, little ones specifically. Not like, people say pony and they mean like a horse that's kind of small. I, like, these are actual ponies, so they're legitimately like pint-sized. But they're so fucking bitchy all the time. They have the worst personalities. And it's like, because they're low to the ground and they know these stupid little kids on their back have no balance. They have no equilibrium, so they fall off for any reason. And though I've, I literally would watch them trot around with these kids, and then I saw one literally bend its knee forward and flip its shoulder and just dump the kid in the sand and then walk away, like, and they would do that all day long because they know the kid's not going to hang on. <laughs> all right, can I do anything else here? Is there any value in writing it again, or do I break my arm if I do it? I'm assuming it's the same, but I don't know. I don't know if they offer any alternative stuff if we, like, redo the same activity for any reason. Oh. Yeah, no, okay, just making sure. Sorry, sorry, Miss Fortune, not to throw you in the dirt twice in a row. Uh, glitter the horse? Oh, there's not so many things for me to glitter right now. I feel like it'd be fun if I could throw the glitter and it would, like, stick to things and it would change the look. What the fuck is happening? Just go, Miss Fortune. You don't want to get involved with ducks. <laughs> don't be silly. Ducks are pretty cool. <laughs> and look, he's carrying a boombox. This could be my opportunity to finally dance for real. Would you like to show me some of your dance moves? You know what? Um, oh, but we've already seen my dance moves. I kind of want to let the duck dance because I want to see what he does. The, the stupid little reefer duck. <laughs> Go for it. Nah, I haven't practiced for a while. <laughs> I leave it to the pros. Oh, Come on, let's see what you got. Cool dancing. <laughs> ah! You motherfucker. I'm okay. I'm okay. I, I, I would move personally, Miss Fortune. Like that. Okay. Get slapped by a duck once. Shame on him. Get slapped by a dunk, duck what twice. Move. That was normal. Oh, if you say so. Yeah, clearly, narrator man, this is a regular occurrence here for some reason. I don't know how. One of the most insane kind of like universes I've ever seen a game try to make. This one, it's like a tornado. Sure, why the fuck not? We're gonna fall off of it again, but why not? Yes, I want to ride. I'm not here to make good decisions. 
I'm here to make fun decisions. I can't hold that anymore. <laughs> oh no, misfortune. <laughs> Why does the narrator, like, the rhythm of it sound like the narrator from, like, um, like, Peppa Pig? <laughs> if he was very, very depressed. When the trees are naked, when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples smashes against the stone. Are all these dolls- is the fox trying to, like, stop some demon apocalypse from happening and we're getting in the way? When the trees are naked, <laughs> when the wind is cold, when the smell of rotten apples- Smashes against the stone. When the trees. Oh no, hold on, no, I forgot. No, no, I heard the poem. Misfortune, stop it, stop it. Apple pie. What are you talking about, Misfortune? Nothing. Okay. Orbitida. Let's see, are we in, are we in Germany? According to the language? Uh, Focus Park. This looks like the art of Benjamin, don't you think? I think it's garbage, and it <laughs> should be erased with fire. Really? I see great potential here. He's obviously very artistic. Just ignore it. Let's keep playing my game. Yeah, narrator. He's closer than you think. <laughs> really? All right. Yeah, whatever, narrator. You don't know good art. That's my fox. That's my man right there. My boo, all right? He's an artist. You just don't understand. You don't know what talent is. I can almost feel the eternal happiness. That's just the drug still in your system. The last challenge awaits at the pet cemetery. A pet cemetery? That sounds like the best place to end the game. Exactly my thoughts. I'm glad you feel the same way. <laughs> <laughs> So, I was thinking while we're walking, mind if I ask you a couple of questions? Sure, I'm pretty good at answering questions. Great, just answer as honestly as you can. All right. First question, have you ever stolen anything? Hell yeah. You know damn well we have. There's no I way this little creep hasn't. I a Swiss army knife once. I felt so bad, I buried it in the yard and never told him. Oh, I'm so sorry for the both of you. <laughs> Second question, are you happy right now? You know what? Yeah, because I'm not at home and my daddy's not beating me. So you know what? A brisk walk is preferable to being anywhere near my house. I mean, nothing bad is happening right now. That makes me happy. Well then, the last question, do you feel loved? Oh, hell no, absolutely not. I'm just glad to be away from the piss and vomit filled pool at home, but no. No, that's why I like my Stoney so much. He's just a rock and doesn't get angry or sad. I wish I could be like that sometimes. Thank you for your honesty. You're welcome. <laughs> Look, we arrived at the pet cemetery. Yeah, is something like sacrificing children to the demon or whatever? Is that like a ritual happening in this town, maybe? Oh, shake this out. More kids are missing. If I go missing, how will I tell mommy? You won't go missing. We'll go back home right after we find the prize. Ah, uh, okay, nice. Oh, shake this out. If I go missing... No, no, hold on. You won't go... God damn it. Uh, okay, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, go back. There we go. Ready to find the prize of eternal happiness. Hell yeah! What is it? I have hidden it in one of the graves. You've I'm hidden? in a grave? Hold on, you've hidden a Chili's triple dipper in one of the graves? It's where the goldfish is buried. That would be my goldfish. eternal happiness oh, right now. Must I dig with my tiny hands? Yikes forever. <laughs> Yikes forever. Use the shovel. What shovel? This shovel. Thunk. Oh! The demon shovel. Ah, that shovel. Okay. Oh yeah, like Satan himself is narrating right now. Got it. Okay. <laughs> this one says, Denise died surrounded by her loved ones in a fire. <laughs> dig this grave? Can I just dig the graves for no reason? Yeah, fuck it. Fuck it. 
we're already doing enough horrible shit, why not? Like, there are meth selling... I guess it's not the fish. Like, look, it's like, it's like, there are hamsters selling speed, so I'm gonna say, like, this is not the most disrespectful thing this town has seen, you know, us grave robbing. Okay, let's see. Little Lulu, the first bug to ever strangle a man. <laughs> yeah, dig it up, alright? Why not? Uh, nothing. Aw, oh, damn it. Hmm. Stephanie Quinn, writer of the erotic novel Confessions of a Cat. Hmm, erotic novel? <laughs> Talk about crazy! <laughs> That's right. Ah, uh, no prize. How's the grave digging going, Miss Fortune? Good! Good, I got this. It's going well. I'm just digging up all of them just for funsies. As is my right. It says. Paul died doing what he loved. It's simple. Yeah, yikes forever. Yeah, Paul, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Uh, no prize in here. Just a bunch of little bones. Okay, I'm assuming maybe he was a pet then. I'm not, I'm, I'm like, why, what full grown man, <laughs> Paul? What were you doing, all right? You were meeting him, but your breath smells like shit. And he's like, yes, I know, thank you. All right, that makes more sense that it was probably someone's stupid little pet. Uh, what are you? Uh, let's see. Roger the magpie. Never saw that window coming. Ah. Uh, I don't get it. Ah, <laughs> uh, no prize in here. Look, what this one? Grave is available. That's for you. Hop on in. Oh, we can bury Rodrigo for his sacrifice. Good. Maybe that'll give us some good karma. Bury Rodrigo here. He deserves it. It was my best fish I ever knew. What? Rodrigo smelled like a fish. I like that in a fish. He was nice. I hope he liked me. Bye, Rodrigo. I only knew for about two hours we were the best damn fish that I've ever met in my life. I miss you so much, Rodrigo. <laughs> Oh, man. It says, Mr. Bubbles. Hmm. Congratulations. Hey, there it is. Found the prize. <gasps> really? Yes. You see the little box? Open it. Oh, okay. Exciting. I feel like I shouldn't open the box. I feel like it's a trap. But... <laughs> Benjamin, you fucker! Yes, it says, I stole your eternal happiness. Sign, Benjamin. Well, that's some bullshit. My eternal happiness. I knew the fox was trouble. He stole your prize. What a disappointment. I really wanted to surprise mommy with this. What should I do now? We must find the fox and get your happiness back. I'm sure he hasn't gone far away. Let's go find him. Yes, let's do that. Ah, oh, such a letdown. God damn it. What the fuck, Benjamin? I trusted you. Hey, there, hey. There he is, Benjamin. Throw the stone at him. my eternal happiness? Not cool. Oh. Come on, Benjamin. Give me back my happiness. Run <laughs> after him. Okay. You can't let the fox get away again. Okay. He stole your prize. Benjamin really disappointed me. Okay, what is the vendetta that you two have against each other? I'm not, I'm, I'm not picking it up, all right? When, when unloved children... Oh, here. Children Miss Fortune, I'll let you read the poem. ...search for what they have lost, for why they're in pain. Children in pain? Oh. Did you find something, Miss Fortune? Nah. You're imagining things. <laughs> That's right, demon boy. You're crazy. We should keep our eyes open in case we see the fox. They know how to hide. All right. <laughs> okay. Oh, 
Check out this stone. It's different from regular stones, I'm telling you. I think you're right. Oh, this piece is loose. I'll take it for me. Absolutely. It works somewhere else. Yeah, take it out of the ritual stone. That's really a good idea. Absolutely. Oh! Should I put it back and read the thing? Yeah. Let me put it back, read it, and then I'll take the stone. The game of death is what feeds the shadows of the beyond. Huh. What does this mean? That I don't know. To me, misfortune. Huh, really? Maybe there's some more nonsense around. I'm gonna take the stone with me. I wonder if we'll need it to activate some other altars or whatever and be able to read them. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just a little girl. In a demonic, horrible world where the fucking ducks smoke weed. Oh, looks very much like where the fox would hide the prize. You mean I should go down there? Yes. Don't worry. Nothing bad will happen. Nothing bad at all. Okay. Well, if you say so. So I'm very sure. I'll trust you. Sure. Fuck it. I wonder why Benjamin will steal my prize. Maybe he's not happy himself. But I need that happiness myself, and for mommy. Hello? Anybody down there? <laughs> okay. Oh, that was a pretty big fall. <laughs> Hello? Mr. Voice, are you there? Sweet, I found a needle in a haystack. Oh, what are the odds? <laughs> oh, damn. I dropped it. Motherfucker. Oh. God damn it, Miss Fortune, all right? I'm like Miss Fucking Clumsy. <laughs> Fox will repel it. Best, love it, 10 out of 10. Get it now. Uki. Fox repellent? I can't deny the bottle sweet style. I'll take it. <laughs> this isn't a trap. Oh. Also, can I glitter something? It's been so long since my glitter has come into play. It's just so important to me. Oh, there you are. What are you doing, Benjamin? Uh, I don't know. I feel like... Benjamin may not be there. I feel like he's trying to stop something horrible from happening, and that's why he's avoiding us. He's putting up the signs next to like the hide your children thing. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna let him speak his piece if he's gonna be willing to talk to us. Or maybe he's gonna kill us right now. I don't know. Benjamin. Oh. Or maybe he just knocks us over like a rude little bitch. You know what? Fuck you, Benjamin, alright? Come on. Motherfucker. What have I gotten myself into. Oh. She's such a mess. <laughs> Maybe it was a mistake choosing her for this. I mean, I saw her eating glitter. Who does that? It's not natural. <laughs> Miss Fortune, you're alive and well. That's great. Yeah. Where am I? What happened? The dangerous fox attacked you. Benjamin attacked me? So he really is a bad fox. See, I told you. That fox is evil. Yeah, maybe I should listen to you. We still need to find a fox and take back the eternal happiness. Maybe we could find out where he lives. Yes, give me a minute to figure this out and I'll get back to you. Okay, I'll just hang around. Okay, and while she's hanging around and our demon, demonic, devil, Satan buddy, which is saying the same thing over and over, <laughs> figures out what to do. I'm gonna call it uh, a break for here. I think, I don't know what the fuck is happening, I'm gonna be honest with you, but I'm kind of, I don't know what I'm doing, but I think I'm doing it really well. And I'm actually having a lot of fun. It's fun to, I don't know, I like games like this that are tongue in cheek, they're dark humor, but they're like, they're, there's a spirit of legitimate kind of fun to it. And I think it feels like it might be building to actually kind of a cool, big supernatural finale. I think we're gonna maybe go into the demon realm or whatever and have to deal with some shit. It feels like that's kind of where it's moving because like there's clearly some weird ceremony something happening in this town 
that I think we're gonna get more answers to probably very, very soon. But in the meantime, I hope you guys are having fun. I hope you guys are enjoying something spooky, but can't be fun kind of spooky for a change, not so outright scary. Just to break something up, you know, in our kind of mix of October, you know, experiences that we've been playing together. So anyway, thank you all so much for watching and listening. My name is Dominic and I will see you next time. Bye.